Aston Martin call it the vanquish, we call it the vanish. It's film fantasy, an espionage dream. Oh, very good. The science of invisibility has taken a small step closer to reality. Researchers at the University of Texas have for the first time used an invisibility cloak to make a three-dimensional object, this 18-inch tube, disappear. It works like this. Objects are visible because of rays of light bouncing off them, hitting the eye to then be processed by the brain. Until now, invisibility research has relied on methods of manipulating the light. One cloaking technique uses so-called metamaterials to redirect light, creating two-dimensional invisibility. Another uses a heat panel to create a mirage effect, bending the light to trick the eye. The latest advance uses plasmonic metamaterials to cancel all reflected light. No reflection means the object disappears into three-dimensional invisibility. For now, the effect works only on high-frequency wavelengths like microwaves, not yet on optical wavelengths like human sight. Soon, it'll mean mobile phone, Wi-Fi or satellite signals will pass free of interruption through solid objects. A human is quite a complex object to deal with. I mean, different parts of us reflect differently. So we really need to make sure that when anything hits this object, the light will not reflect from it, which is the human, for example, to be like Harry Potter invisibility clock. So possibly we can get something that is closer to Harry Potter invisibility clock within 20 to 25 years. True invisibility would have obvious benefits for covert military and intelligence operations, but it's a long way off. I know what that is. That's an invisibility cloak. The University of Texas research has yielded what's described as a fundamental breakthrough bringing science a little closer to science fiction. The idea of a real invisibility cloak no longer completely out of sight. Jonah Hull, Al Jazeera, London.